In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a tie-off stitch. Now, a tie-off stitch is required for the finishing of all stitches that, is, that are performed by hand. This ensures that the stitch does not pull out and that it's securely adhered to your project or thing. So the first thing that you need to do is bring your needle to the back of your felt so that your knot will be performed and housed on the back edge of your project where the knot is. You don't want that to be seen from the front. Now this tie-off stitch is simple. You're going to run your needle underneath your last stitch. And before this little bubble closes, you're gonna slide your needle through that bubble and pull it tight. This creates this little micro little three prong tree and we wanna strengthen that. So we're gonna go through that once more the same way we did the first. And you're gonna have to be patient. If you pull through too quickly, it'll not like mine did. And instead of just pulling it through anyway, we're gonna resituate this thread so that it's all back and even. And then we can try to reattempt. If you just pull, it's gonna knot and not end up how you want. The trick you can do is use your needle to kind of even it back out. Ooh, this one's not wanting to cooperate. And sometimes that happens, you just gotta be patient. Sometimes it helps to pull the threads individually and they'll go back together. Now, that shouldn't have been so difficult, so I'll run through one more time just for the sake of demonstration. And again, it should be simple enough to just take your needle, pull it through, let your bubble begin to close, pull your needle through the bubble, and pull it now, all you have to do is take your pair of scissors, snip that thread, and your new pair of scissors, and you have obtained a tie-off.